So if you've played much in the SDR space, chances are you've looked at something like this. This is a bandstop filter. It's for the FM broadcast band of around 88 to 108 megahertz. Well, at my disposal right now is a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator. So I figured, let's put this little guy to the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a signal with the tracking generator from the spectrum analyzer, put it through the filter, <clears throat> and see what comes out the other side. What kind of return loss do I get, and what kind of filter characteristics do I get? I'm going to normalize this off camera. Um, I'm also going to use these little uh, SMA to BNC adapters, just because this thing has SMA adapters on it, and all my cables are BNC, but, um, you know, really they don't make much of a difference for the calculation, so uh, we'll worry about all that stuff off camera. So I purchased this unit on AliExpress, uh, which some of you may be familiar with, is a place in, uh, or it's a store, web store in China that sells a lot of stuff. They sell uh, pretty much everything from novelties to uh, to electronic components. So what I've done is I've got tracking generator in, tracking generator out, and the filter. Because it's an RF filter, it's non-directional, or at least most are not. So let's take a look at what the spectrum analyzer is showing here. Okay, so looking at the spectrum analyzer, you can see that it's got a nice curve. So you can see how it skirts up to the top. It's a negative 10 dB, and that is not because this has bad insertion loss. It's instead because I have a 10 dB pad on the output of the tracking generator. And that is simply just to ensure that the tracking generator sees a basically just a consistent 50 ohm impedance. So this mark right here, mark number one, it's going to be hard to see on the video. I've you know, it's, it is what it is, but um, right now it is at 98 megahertz, and you can see it's basically at the high end of this notch filter. I'm going to create an, another marker, so we're going to create a uh, marker number two. We'll turn it on, make it normal, and we'll check and see that the the filter is really uh, it's about 50, so we'll, that's negative 40 dB down at about 87.4, which is the beginning of the broadcast band, um, it really starts to have real characteristics up around, we'll call this 78 dB, and that's where you're at, you're about your 3 dB point. Again, remembering that we've got a 10 dB attenuator in there, so take 10 off. And when you get up here to the top of the broadcast band, the attenuation isn't really there. So um, the characteristics where you see this nice flat bottom, that's what you'd expect to see. However, it doesn't really extend all that high. So when you start to get into the top end of the band, so for instance in my town here at 106.9, there is a uh, low power FM station, and really they would only be attenuated by about 7 dB. Not perfect, if you ask me, but uh, at least it would be something. So if we scroll back down here, 104, we're at about negative 23. So again, 13 dB below uh, the injected signal. What I'm also going to do here, let me change things up a bit and make things a little more fair. Let's get let's get some of the the. Um, fidelity back here. I'm going to turn off the attenuator. Again, this changes the math a bit, but don't worry about it. Oh, I'm going to blow it out the top, aren't I? Oh, it's not going to whine. Okay. Um, so, of course, our reference level changes a bunch, so bear with me. But you can see that the shape at the bottom doesn't really have much of a difference. So, let's throw uh, 10 dB back on there. Actually, you know what? Let's go full 20 and that way I can get my reference level back. There we go. So, okay. Again, 20 dB attenuation. That is calculated like you saw when I moved it. So, you know, there's no, it's, it's a zero dB tracking generator. We're at minus 10, minus 10 dB pad. No smoke and mirrors, not trying to do anything good or bad for this thing. Um, okay, so at marker two, marker two, I'm at 101 megahertz, and I'm, a fair bit down. So let me go back to my marker. And at marker 2, I'm about 30 dB down. Again, for most of what you're doing, this is absolutely fine. But really, if you want the full depth, 
you pretty much have very few options. So why did I buy this? I bought this unit to filter out a station at 90.9 .9 and 94.9 as I'm going to be putting an SDR receiver up on a hilltop. So for me, this is absolutely perfect. But this doesn't tell us the whole story. So let's take a wider look. So we're looking at 50 megahertz, right? So I centered it at 98. So plus 25, minus 25 from center frequency. So let's let's go for a wider span here. Let's go for a 100 megahertz span. Okay, and you can see it's got very nice characteristics. Um, in fact, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go for a walk. So let's take let's take our marker number two up here, up band, and take a look. So, for instance, I want to listen to stuff in the 144 megahertz range and 150 megahertz, 160 megahertz. So around here, I only have a very small amount of attenuation, right? So negative. Well, here it looks better there. Uh, negative 0.34. That's nothing. I'm going to lose more in my coax up there. So it looks like this little filter coming out of China. Um, I'll put a uh, I'll put a link to it in my uh, video description, and I'll I'll flash up on the screen somewhere here the information from where I got it. It appears to be working pretty damn well. Oh boy, that is not in focus. So here, let me just let me give you guys sickness here. YouTube sickness. So that's all it is, is just a band stop broadcast FM filter. So frankly, I can't complain too much. It's, uh, you know, it was very cheap. I'll show you the price uh, that I paid on the screen here with the, um, with the link. I just want to, I'm going to do a deeper span here. So let's do span. Let's do full span. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, so this unit goes up to about 2 gig. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not, this. while this is interesting, this is not the most useful measurement. Um, really where I would cease to use it, you can see this little bit of a shelf here, that's probably along the lines of where I would stop. So let's go, we're at about 800 megahertz, we're at about... 600 megahertz, perfect. So where I want to use this is up in this range anyway. This is 100% acceptable. 2 dB, once you get higher, not a problem. In fact, this 2 dB is going to be nice because I'm also going to be looking for a high order filter uh, to get rid of, there's a lot of cellular noise up in this area for me. So again, totally acceptable, beautiful unit. Really glad that uh, that it was as cheap as it was and that it was... Um, you know, as, as deep of a null that you can see over here in the corner. All right, thanks for watching.